Okay, 2-2 logic. Logically, there are two answers to the following statements. They're either going to be true or they're going to be false. What the book likes to use is they like to use the letters P and Q. P would be a statement, Q would be a statement. I'll show you what that looks like in just a second. So let's go ahead and take a look at it. And let's take a look at the statement P where a, um, I don't want to do that. I want to do a rectangle. is a quadrilateral. Now, tell me about that statement. Is it always true? Is it sometimes true? Or is it always false? Obviously, a rectangle is a four-sided shape, which always makes it a quadrilateral. So that statement would be true. Then we could throw in a second statement, label it a different letter. Again, the book likes P and Q, where it says a rectangle is convex. Convex, remember from the last chapter, um, the two different kinds were convex and concave. Concave, if I drew, uh, if I drew sections or segments from each endpoint, there would be an internal point. In this case, there is not, so it is always convex. So that is a true statement. So if they are both true statements, then we're going to write a compound statement. Okay, a compound statement is just a combination of two. Some of you see where I'm probably going here. And my statement is going to be um, let's see. Yeah, I'm sorry. I got sidetracked there for a minute. My statement is going to be a rectangle is a quadrilateral and it is convex. Again, this entire statement, a rectangle is a quadrilateral and it is a convex. That is a compound statement. Because it involves two, um, two sets of guidelines. A rectangle is a quadrilateral and it is convex. This can also be written as P and Q. Actually, I shouldn't write it that way. I need to write it in lowercase p. I get too close to the board. P and Q. A compound statement, P and Q. Now, let's look at a negation statement. Okay, let's look at a negation statement. And the root word NEG or the root term NEG is negative. Okay, if I put Let's take that same um, same statement. Let's say let's say P is a rectangle is 
convex, which we know is true, the negation statement of that would be not P, which is just one half of the um, approximately little squiggly sideways S. The negation of that would be a rectangle is not convex. Now, we know if it's a negation of the first statement, if the first statement is true, then this one has to be false. And we'll work those just a little bit more um, as we go throughout this chapter. Okay, now we're going to get to the word um, disjunction. A disjunction statement will use the term or. Notice in the last section, let me go back to um, two slides ago, we used the term and which that gave us an upside down V, P and Q. So now we're going to use the words or. And so let's take our same statements from the beginning. P, and I'm just going to abbreviate a little bit, um, a rectangle is a quadrilateral. And then our Q was rectangle is convex, then in this case, we would go with the statement P or Q. Are either one of those true? Obviously, they are both true. So if I asked you the statement, if a rectangle is a quadrat or a rectangle is a quadrilateral or a rectangle is convex, you would tell me that's a true statement because both of them are true. Okay, let's take this up one more notch and we're going to construct a truth table. So let's look at, um, I want to do a, a P then Q. And so let's say Let's look at all the possibilities. So let's make this one a 1, 2, 3, 5 by 3. Okay. Give me just a s no. Okay, so let's just look at the general uh, P and Q statement. Let's get all of the possibilities. It's possible for P to be true and Q to be true. Let's switch that. It's also possible for P, and this has nothing to do with the quadrilateral statements that I just made a little bit ago. This is a general statement. It's possible for P to be true, which would make Q possibly to be false. It's also possible for P to be true, or P to be false, excuse me, and Q to be true. And then finally, it's also possible for them to both be false. Okay. Now, when we look at the con combined statements, if it's an and, okay, if it's an and, then they both have to be true to make the statement true. So in this case, if P is Q and T is, slow down, if P is true and Q is true, then the entire statement is true. In the second statement, one of them is false. So it automatically makes it false. In the third statement, one of them is false. So it automatically makes it false. In the fourth statement, one of them is false. Actually, both both of them are false. Excuse me, please. I got the hiccups. Both of them are false, so it makes it false as well. Now let's look at an or statement. So now this is an and. Um, an AND table, and this is going to be an OR table. 
we'll use the same P's and Q's. We would have true, true. We could have true, false. We could have false, true. Or they could both be false. Now, in this case, it's a little bit different because now our question is or. So as long as one of them is true, it makes the whole statement true. Obviously, both of those are true. One of those is true. One of those is true. And in this case, both of those being false is going to end up being false. We could also um, look at a negation statement. OK, last one. We're going to construct a table for not P or Q. Again, over here to the right, not P or Q. In this one, we're going to need a P column. We're going to need a Q column. Then we have to do a negation column. And then our statement at the end. So again, possibilities are same. True, true. True, false. False, true. True, excuse me, false, false. Now, our negation statement, we should just take our P column and we're going to negate it. And for our last statement, we're going to look at this column and this column. We don't need to look at our P column because that's not what we're doing. We're using not P or Q. So as long as one of them is true, then we're good. First one, one of them is true. Second one, both false. Third one, one of them is true. Fourth one, one of them is true. So there is our truth table for not P or Q. True, false, true, true. That should cover it. A little bit long, a little over 12 minutes. So that is chapter two, section two, logic.